Robots have integrated into our lives in many different ways, taking over tasks that were once exclusively performed by humans. But one thing that has been limiting them is their inability to feel. Not emotions, but touch. And a company in Edinburgh is working on bridging the gap. Skin is the biggest organ in the human body, and it's a vital organ. If you look at most of evolution, you'll see that almost every animal out there has some form of sense of touch. So the idea was really that at some point touch will be the bottleneck, it will be the limiting factor in robotics to get robots into unstructured environments in the real world. To give machines the subtle capabilities of human touch, they developed electronic skin by printing sensors onto different materials that can be applied to robots. They're fully flexible and printed and extremely thin and they provide all of those sensations to a robot. If you want to, let's say, handle something very delicate, a strawberry, or in our case, you want to hold the hand of you know, your grandmother in a hospital or maybe a newborn baby, something like that, then you need a very highly precise sensor. Taking it a step further, these sensations can then be relayed back to humans again through haptic interfaces, such as a bodysuit or a glove. Despite its importance, touch has been overlooked in the field of robotics, making robots clumsy and unfit for a variety of basic tasks. The precise sensing capabilities of electronic skin enable robots to engage with objects and humans in a more gentle manner. By detecting changes in pressure and touch, they can navigate environments with increased safety, steering clear of collisions and avoiding unintended harm or damage. To demonstrate this, they are deploying Valku, an avatar system equipped with electronic skin on its fingertips, to a hospital in Finland. There, it is operated by nurses to support them in caring for patients, especially those who are immunocompromised. After the pandemic, they have realized that there are a lot of problems that they would like to solve, they would like to prepare for when, uh, when something like this happens in the future. And this is where we came in and started figuring out how can we build a robot, build a system that can actually be useful in a hospital. Without this specific e-skin technology, the robot would be too dangerous to be near patients. As a nurse, you come in, you sit down in a chair, you put on a VR headset, you have then a choice of either a VR controller with a couple of buttons and joysticks, or you use a haptic glove. So how did you sleep last night? Did you sleep well? Are you experiencing any pain as of the moment? Nurses can use the robot avatar to speak to patients, deliver food and medication, and take physical measurements. We have a set of laser scanners that tell us how far different obstacles are. For more spatial awareness, we have 360 degrees camera, which means that through the virtual reality, the user can look around at any time, even see behind. We have a little nice feature of a real view mirror. Every time there's something happening behind the robot, you get to see that as well. Then we've got the heat camera as well to be able to tell people's temperature. In a hospital where the risk potential is high, these functionalities are the only reason they are allowed to run such a project. They also plan on using machine learning and the data sets they gathered to automate some of the nurses' tasks in the future. Utilizing AI, their aim is to develop autonomous and dexterous robots capable of performing practical tasks such as repositioning patients or changing catheters. You can use as many cameras as you want to, but when it comes to actually detecting whether you are uh, causing any harm, being able to sense touch is very important. And this is where we would like to uh, cover the whole robot with electronic skin. The era of tactile intelligence in robotics has dawned. The sensation is still fundamentally very different from human touch, but integrating electronic skin is an emerging field that robots can now put their finger on.